Um, hello, my name is Teresa Beck, and I'm a PhD student uh, and research assistant working at the Department of Didactics of Mathematics at the Center for Teacher Training at the process of professionalization in specific the training into the teaching profession from out of free teaching Seiten Einsteiger. And regarding my methodological approach and method, I'm interested in different biographical narratives and the experienced biographical transitions. So here's a short overview about my presentation today. First, I will give you a short insight in my project and the idea of addressing in field or out of field. Then I will continue with my research design and afterwards explain the methodology to make the empirical material and working with it more transparent. Then I will speak about the evolved orientation framework, teaching out of field and how do the site nine really address themselves in field or out of field and close the presentation with three empirical cases and a first comparative overview. So since several years, like we already heard, the shortage of teachers in Germany is continuously rising. The shortage forced the federal states to react because there is no possibility to fill this gap with former qualified teachers. And the ministry answer on federal level was a paper already published in 2013 of the Standing Conference of the Ministers of Education and Cultural Affairs, which provided the basis for a special measure, the so-called Quer- and Seiteneinsteig. This word is quite interesting as well because the metaphorical meaning, of course, with an interpretive view is Seiten, like side entrance or queer, queer, like transverse or crossways. So it means not entering the profession through the main entrance. Like I explained more detail last year in my presentation, why we started this project in our federal state, is the fact that in Saxony, this enormous demand is even more evident. There have been in the last school year, 2019, about 50.6 percentage of the public school, school teachers recruited through this special measure, which leads to the conclusion that teaching out of field in these circumstances is unavoidable because we have schools in especially rural areas in Saxony, where more than 90% of the vacant positions are filled with out of field teaching teachers. For my research project, it is therefore important to include this target group into the growing and controversial discussion about teaching out of field. My focus lies in the biographical story and the career trajectories of this target group and including them, speaking with them and not just about them, like it unfortunately happened, especially through media in the last two years. My approach is to gain an insight in the transition into a new professional identity by using individual resources, extending the comparative framework case by case. That's what I'm going to show you in three, on three examples later, along the different narratives and developing a typology, including different frames. So the presentation shall give an insight in my work in progress of the current analysis of the different narratives from the interviewees, showing comparative horizons of different cases and the work of forming out a collective orientation framework for the typology regarding out of field teaching Seiten Einsteigerinnen. Because on one side, we do have the formal submittals like they are foreign in the field of specialization, they are not really trained in the subjects and don't have the formal qualifications in the profession or the specialist knowledge. And on the other side, we have partly sufficient achievements in a subject and are participants in and trained in a two year lasting qualification measure. So I try to figure out if they are feeling or addressing themselves in or out of the field, while the formal definition is quite difficult as well. And considering the facets of identity as part of the professionalization, this is necessary. So as an intermediate result, they are meandering between certified and non-formal qualified. So the status, if they are in field or out of field, isn't technically clear at all and can't be allocated between two poles. 
Last year, I introduced my research design. This time, I will have to, I will have, uh, we will have a look at my current focus, which includes the data of the empirical material from 15 interviews. To show you a first insight and my discussion of the reconstructed material, I would like to outline first my methodological approach into uh, into my empirical material based on the social cultural movement of Karl Mannheim and the methodological and methodic strategy of Ralph Bonsack and Arndt Michael Nohl I choose to interpret and analyze my narrative problem-centered interviews after Wetzel. The documentary method is to be understood in addition to the grounded theory, the narrative interview and the ob objective hermeneutics as an innovative as well as a methodological approach, which is in the tradition of the sociology of knowledge and ethnometallurgy. In the reduction of social... Alles klar? Guck mal. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, in the reconstruction of social reality, which is produced in social practice, the action-guided knowledge of the individual actors is consequently and reflective understanding of action practice. This reconstruction of the action practice aims at the habitualized and partly incorporated orientation knowledge and underlying practices, this practice, which structures this action relatively independently of the subjectively indeed meaning. So in everyday life and in every interaction between people, we have an implicit knowledge of mutual and circular knowledge and recursive relation between an action, utterance, or incorporated practice on the one hand, and an overarching existential social context on the other. This relation is called reflexivity, and the knowledge of this relation as the knowledge of an underlying pattern is a central structure characteristic of the documentary method. And why is this all necessary? It's about the interpretation of the corporate, incorporated knowledge and how to get to knowledge. Asking the question how the Zeitmeinschergen see or dress themselves, I reconstruct or ask the material for the conjunctive or implicit knowledge which is subject to the action. For the interpretation of incorporated practice, actions are utterances of the praxeological sociology of knowledge or the documentary method. A distinction is made between conjunctive and communicative knowledge, according to Mannheim, which differentiates between understanding and interpretation. While we all communicate on an imminent level, sometimes meaningful, sometimes less meaningful, the interest lies in the space of conjunctive experiences to understand how people, or in my case, my target group, construct their field of experiences and how they gain their process of understanding. So to make it even more clear, by reconstructing experiences, we can tend to reconstruct a common sense or stereotypes, but this is not the research interest I'm following. It's about the construction of the social identity and the implicit reflection between norm and habitus. So getting into the modus operandi, the reconstruction of the action operation, the methodology and method give several main steps. First, I did start with gaining my empirical material and, the stru and structuring the interview along the interview guideline. And then I wrote the formulating interpretation and the reflecting interpretation based on the reconstructions from oh, in the work with uh, different or several research groups. And with the results, I will generate a type forming interpretation to finalize with the sense and sociogenetic type forming under the frame of the implicit reflection out of field teaching. Creating a teacher identity between norm and habitus, between propositional and performative logic. And next to the framework I'm focusing in this presentation, I elaborate further frameworks. I just give you a short overview. These are the other frameworks like solutions for safe boundary crossing, support mechanisms, didactic preference and beliefs, experience practice, career choice motifs, and transition into the new profession. But focusing on 
uh, teaching in and out of field. Let's have a look into my material. So we have Mrs. Fee. Mrs. Fee is constructed as semi in field. Um, Mrs. Fee meanders between making herself unfamiliar to a subject and at the same time being in the usual conflict of those entering the profession. She compares her expertise with another Seiteneinsteiger who didn't do well in class, according to her, um, her narrator. So while defending the counterpart, she draws a line between being a teacher and not being a teacher as an external assignment. Nonetheless, the material is not quite clear um, or clearly reconstructing her as teaching out of field or addressing her out of field. Rather, it makes the boundary between being a teacher and not being one in multiple times addressing others as being teachers or not, depending on this formal assignment. Compared with others, she is seeing herself as a learner in and through practice in cooperation with colleagues and also the pupils she can develop further. So she develops her practice of action through the action. We have uh, Mrs. H. She, um, Mrs. H constructs herself not as out of field, but as new in field and working differently in practice while addressing herself as new, not knowing everything immediately, but struggling sometimes and struggling sometimes. She sees herself as new in field and acting, she is very, acting very self-confident and anchored in her role as a teacher. Her expertise is recognized in the colleague and she uses her knowledge as a currency that can be used in the school market. So she exchanges her expertise. And with this, she differentiates herself from old forms of teaching and want to bring new innovative ideas to school. The third case is Mr. Shu. He constructs uh, himself as mostly in field while referring to his studied subject sport and he positions himself as a specialist, as an expert, but even partly out of field with huge support mechanism to bring him into field or make him feel being part of the system as a fully accepted qualified teacher. His expertise is recognized in the teaching team and he's highly respected. He negotiates his range with his activity through expertise and emphasizes a unique selling point. His currency is a subject sport that can be used in the school market and his studies being new. But referring to other subjects and knowledge, he constructs himself as partly out of field in delimiting towards other Seiteneinsteiger colleagues where he has heard they struggled with a lot of more problems while he got like, immediately respect from the team and has no problems. So as a first result, also as first in between result, and it's a first in between result, another final result, um, considering the facets of identity as part of the professionalization, the transition they do experience is ongoing and affects their dressing, being teaching in field or out of field. And as we can see in the first case comparison, the range is pretty wide and differs from partly out of field to see in field, to mainly in field and new in field. So Mr. Shu, for example, um, he positions himself as a specialist, as expert with his studied subject, in contrast to the other two. They gain the expertise through practice and mark less their prior studied subject. While Mr. Shu addresses himself as a teacher, equivalent to the other teachers in his school, Mrs. H, she gives herself a special role, the new one, and puts herself in a unique position, teaching or explaining other colleagues new didactical knowledge she got from her qualification program at university. And while she's in the position, she makes transparent to all that she struggles with new tasks once in a while, um, maybe even a face-saving strategy, while Mr. Shu doesn't see any difficulties due to the fact he gets support from colleagues and the headmistress and can compensate deficits with more preparation time and consideration with classes he's teaching. And while they address themselves pretty clear, Mrs. Hime Anders, in between the two poles, being not really familiar with the new subject, math, she's teaching and having a lot of respect, but doing on the other side pretty well, learning from her mistakes, another Seiten Einsteiger colleague is doing. 
as you can see, this is just a short glimpse into the um, interpreted and reconstructed material showing the wide range of their facets of forming a teacher identity between the poles teaching in field or out of field. So in my further work I, in progress, I will continue developing this range of addressing teaching in the future. So resource oriented, hopefully resource oriented professional support and qualification programs can be tailored to the needs of the Zeit Neinsteigerin, depending where they are standing. So thank you very much for your attention. And yeah, please feel free to give me a feedback or uh, let's start a discussion. Thank you.